Hello and welcome to the 40th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at single touch ended. We'll be using the source code from the 39th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for touch recognition in the form of events. We will take a look at detecting when the user has stopped touching the screen. You will need a device or a simulator to test this. If you aren't interested at all in developing for devices and only for the browser, don't worry as we will cover mouse events later in this series. So what we're going to do is open up our app.js which contains our current layer and we will pick up when single touch has ended. I'm going to open it up in Sublime but I'll be obviously executing it in Xcode or you can do it in Eclipse as well. So what we're going to do is on touch ended colon function and in here there's two parameters touch and event. We'll be using the touch to get the location and now in here we're going to do cc.log now it's number touch it's to be inside the quotation marks touch ended colon space plus touch dot get location x save that just confirm everything is spelled correctly looks like okay to me I will find out when we run the application so let's just open up our project in Xcode so frameworks runtime source project iOS Mac tutorial so now let's just run this in iPhone 4S simulator Okay, so if I click, it says touch began. If I move, it says moved. And when I'm going to let go, at least I hope, when I let go, it's going to say touch ended. There you go, it says touch ended. So let's just show you again. And again, these are the pixel values. So if I do it here, here will be near 0. And if I do it here, it will be near 960. So this 0 to 960. So it is that simple to get the on touch ended uh, values. We're also going to show you the untouched cancelled. We won't be testing this, but untouched cancelled is what occurs when basically a touch is cancelled. So, for example, if another application takes hold uh, of your device and then no longer your application, your game is in the front, therefore untouched cancelled will be called. And you want to handle that. I'm just going to put a cc.log in here, but naturally you will want to handle this the same way as the untouch end, most likely. So that's just a good way to so either just call that function or just do the same code in here. So we're going to save that again. Well, that's just a little bit of code so you know how to handle the untouch cancelled. We have now we, we now have the means to detect when single touch has began, moved, or ended, and also cancelled. A little task for you uh, to do is detect the Y corner and think about touch events on the different screen sizes we set up earlier in the series. Little clue: normalizing the corners is one way, but there are there are definitely other ways. So just check them out or just research them. In the next tutorial, we will cover detecting when a single touch has no sorry not single touch has been cancelled. We've already done this here. We'll be setting up multi-touch events. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. Or the requiring for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.